And finally, the Alumni Medal is presented to an individual who has achieved extraordinary success, bringing distinction to both the awardee and the college. It is the highest honor awarded by the Michigan Engineering Alumni Board. This year's medal presentation is highly unusual. It recognizes two individuals instead of one. They are from the same Michigan engineering class, the same country, which is not the US, and even the same company. Please join me in recognizing this year's recipients of the Michigan Engineering Alumni Medal, Fayaz Berker and Nihat Gokijit. And uh, I think we'll give them some applause. They are sitting right over there. You see, it's always, but to after Regrettably, the doctors of our honor much more advised excited. them against making the trip overseas to campus. They are in Turkey. I think it had something to do with the shutdown of the government. <laughs> But if all goes well, by the miracle of technology, later on, after I tell you more about these gentlemen, uh, we will be hearing from them. Uh, they were college classmates in Turkey, and our medalists decided to continue their education together at the University of Michigan. Not long after their graduation from U of M in 1948, they returned to their home country. Anticipating the future growth there, they formed Fayaz Nihat Consultant Engineering. The company was established at a time when there was a rapid increase in construction activities as Turkey had become, just then, a member of NATO. Building on their growing confidence and contacts they had developed, they established the consulting company's sister company, Tekfen Construction Limited. And this was in 1957. The goal was to add construction services to their consulting activities. Interestingly, the company name Tekfen was forged from the Turkish words for technology and science, reflecting the partner's corporate philosophy to blend these two areas together. Tekfen's first assignment was the stabilization of roadway shoulders at nine different NATO airports in Turkey. When a third partner joined the company, it grew in both work and in reputation. One of the company's first projects was as a subcontractor in a project to build two fuel oil pipelines under the Bosphorus. It was the first step in Tekfen's emergence as a leader in global pipeline construction. And there was much more to come. In the early 1960s, Turkey saw incredible growth in heavy industry, always, leading to Tekfen's added to focus on industrial and infrastructure own, construction. Much more All the while, Tekfen was continuing to build its reputation for pipeline construction, using this work to branch into refinery construction as well. Always with a view to the future, Tekfen's leaders continued to expand into other areas. For example, they began producing light bulbs, a move that would introduce Tekfen's name to a wider audience. This move also was a hedge against the inconsistencies in the construction industry market. Within a short time, Tekfen had one-third of Turkey's light bulb market. Since then, Tekfen has grown far beyond the initial single material testing and soil analysis laboratory where it began. Today, Tekfen is a leader in international construction, in finance, import and export, and a number of other industries. Tekfen Group consists of 40 publicly traded companies and seven subsidiaries operating in 11 countries with more than 15,000 employees. Beyond their exceptional business successes, these gentlemen have continued to give back to their country and to their professional communities. For example, the company has established the Tekfen Foundation, which awards scholarships to new, nearly 200 students per year. Mr. Berker is a founding member of the Turkish Industrialists and Businessmen's Association. Uh, he served as vice chairman of its high advisory council, then became chairman of the council. He remains its honorary chairman. He served as founding vice chairman and executive board chairman of the Foreign Economic Relations Board, then board council chairman, and he continues as an honorary member. Mr. Gokijit is a member of the Turkish Industrialists and Businessmen's Association and was a member of its board of directors. He is a member of the Foreign Economic Relations Board. He served as chairman of the Turkish CIS Business Council and the Turkish, and is, or was, the Turkish representative on the Black Sea Business Council. 
He is the founding honorary chairman of the Turkish Green Building Council and the Turkish Foundation for Combating Erosion, for Reforestation, and Protection of Natural Habitats. We are honored to be able to recognize these two distinguished graduates this evening. Please help me congratulate the recipients of the 2013 Alumni Medal, Mr. Fayaz Berker and Mr. Nihat Gokije. Receiving an award is always an honor, but to receive this after 65 years from your own university is certainly much more exciting and valuable. When I first came to Michigan in 1947 with my future partner Feyas, the adverse effects of the Second World War were still evident. The war had brought scarcity and poverty to my country too. Turkey needed engineers for her development and we regarded the University of Michigan as the best place to carry our training further. What impressed me the most in the United States was the order and system in every sphere of life. For example, I was amazed by the fact that thousands of students could complete their registration and their health check in the space of only a few days. This system functioned like uh, mass production of a giant factory very fast and efficiently. The efficiency-focused approach I saw here would always guide me in my future career. After graduation, I applied to an engineering company in Harrisburg. During the interview, my future boss gave me a quite difficult and complex structural design problem and said, we'll talk again after you solve this. As I was working on this problem, I realized how much I had gained from my education at Ann Arbor. Two days later, I presented the solution of the problem and got the job. We engineers always focus on solving problems. Michigan gave us technical skills as well as solution-oriented approach to social issues. Preventing the clash between mankind and nature has always been my big concern. In Istanbul, I converted an unused patch of land at a highway clover leaf into a botanical garden. I wanted to demonstrate that natural life could uh, coexist with an intensive building construction around it. And to help conservation of the biodiversity in Turkey, which is incredibly rich but under threat. With the aim of contributing to intercultural peace, I founded the Sound of Three Seas Orchestra, bringing together musicians from 23 countries surrounding the Caspian Sea, the Black Sea, and the Eastern Mediterranean, one of the most troublesome regions of our world. The orchestra has served as a peace envoy for more than 20 years. 
please don't see these as an attempt to justify this valuable award. In all these endeavors, my university inspirations have a big share for which I am much grateful. The University of Michigan has always commanded a very special place in my heart and I will keep this medal with great pride for the rest of my life. I would like to thank everyone who is here today to share my pride and happiness. A few years ago, I was in New York, and I met with Mary Sue Coleman, president of Michigan, and the finance uh, financial uh, director, uh, who was really uh, amazing in getting uh, in the difficult year in the United States economically. $2.2 billion for Michigan University. And this was uh, something I was amazed because back home, I tried to have this fundraising in our school, which I graduated at Robert College, and I'm now the president of a, a school, which is a 12-year school. and. I'm trying to find funds for the uh, schools, and we have more difficulty uh, than uh, Michigan. And I was amazed how they did it in the uh, United States. Because at the time, I think it was a difficult year for the United States. But they collected $2.2 billion. And I asked President Sue Coleman, how did you did this? And they told me this is, uh, we have a graduate, graduates in the United States, 500,000. And we contact them every, every uh, week almost. And we have a continuous communication with them. And we always bring them projects, which we say if you finance these projects, we will give your name to the uh, school or department, whichever uh, is uh, responsible for this project. And really, they have very important projects which are financed and which uh, worldwide projects which help not only the United States. Worldwide, it is important for the success of this uh, studies, research, which they really carry out. So I'm very proud to be a graduate of Michigan uh, in 1948 with my partner, Mr. Gökgit. We really wish to visit once again our school, but we have difficulty in traveling. As you can see, our age is almost 80 nine now. <laughs> so I'm very proud to be a part of Michigan. Thank you. So I was privileged to uh, visit Istanbul and, and those two gentlemen this last spring and had a wonderful time uh, recounting stories. It turned out when they came to the US, one, they, they stopped in Ann Arbor, but one of them actually had enrolled in graduate school in Nebraska. And after one semester, he returned to Ann Arbor. And that's the reason the two of them actually finished degrees uh, uh, here together. Um, I'm gonna have the privilege uh, just a month from now to travel to Istanbul and present the medal to these two gentlemen personally, and I look forward.